guess in why I'm in it. Um, I think of after school more than in school. Well, in school is a great opportunity to meet other people and uh, just punks ideas around and you know get involved in different um, competitions and stuff like that. Activities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think of when I leave school, these connections and how much more vital they will be to me then. Because then I have someone that I can call up and say, hey, yeah, yes, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, what are you working on? And, you know, maybe there's opportunity for collaboration. Or, you know, you learn a lot from him and stuff like that. Too, so. That's one of my biggest, um, one of the biggest perks of yeah, the Just for being part of it. Yeah. yeah. Is there anything specific to being part of Andrew's AIS? Yeah. Um, well, being a part of Andrew's AIS, yeah, yes. being the vice president here, I get to see how things are, are run and be a very, like, Active part of that, which, which is like, has just expanded my mind even more, like to become a leader and yeah. you know just step up to the plate and do things for other people as well. Gotcha. Um, and one thing that is very special about Andrew's AIAS is the, the spiritual part of it. Service oriented. Yes, yeah, we're very service oriented, and also um, we're trying to get connected with the professional world and each other and with God as well. So that's that's very special. Thank you very much, man. That's Robert. <laughs> so Nadine, what does AIS mean to you? AIS, well, apart from the professional advantages and connections, AIS means family. Mm. It means the connection within our department and the ability to break, you know, the ice and get to relate closer to my people. peers, yeah, to get to know people and learn from other people as well, because it forces the sense of community within our department. Um, the sense of studio culture. The studio culture, um, I think that's, it's the spark that lights studio culture in our department, because it's one of the main clubs that we, or organizations that yeah. we have here, and um, it forces people to get out of their bubbles, get out of their, you know, drafting desks, and be in a community where people care about where they architecture. Mm -hmm. Where they realize that architecture is more than just drafting, it's about people. Right. It's about people, it's about um, the outside world, it's about connecting with firms uh -huh. Uh -huh. and connecting with the, yeah, the bigger architectural world. Well, thank you very much, we appreciate it. That's really cool. Hi, welcome back to our episode. So, uh, I'm here with uh, Kevin and Jake, the Designs Kings of the class. So tell us guys, what does AIS mean to you? Why are you even a part of this? Uh, I think AIS is um, an opportunity for us to network, um, mm -hmm. to connect with the professional world, and also to give us um, an insight about the industry and what we'll be doing. Gotcha. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, kind of along the same lines, I think. Uh, we have a good opportunity to connect uh, with people and prepare us for the professional world. Is there anything specific to Andrew's uh, chapter of AIS that you think is unique and that you probably enjoy? Um, I think the opportunities we get to go on firm tours. Yeah. Uh, do little competitions like the napkin sketch competition we did gotcha. last week. But, you know, I don't have any experience in other schools uh, of architecture or other AIS uh -huh. chapters, uh, but that's something that I really like about our chapter. I think what I enjoy is um, our bi weekly baskets we have every uh, Friday night. Um, we are in Aventus School, so. What does baskets mean? Yeah. Yeah, baskets is basically. Uh, a time where uh, on Fridays where we come together to close um, to start the Sabbath off, which is from Friday at, uh, sunset to Saturday sunset, mm -hmm. and um, it's I, I love it because it's a time where we can like wind down from studio and classes and come together and like um, basically chill out and, and have good food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And stuff like that. So I think I think that's something you think about our chapter, which most uh, I think the other chapters don't really have. Yeah.
Well, thank you very much, gentlemen. Really appreciate it. So there you have it, folks. End of the AIS. Okay, guys, we're back again. I'm here with Ashlyn Sapara. Uh, she is a uh, second year student, and she's actually part of the leadership for AIS. So, Ashlyn, what does AIS mean to you, and why are you involved in particularly leading out in AIS? Well, AIS to me is a family organization where all the architecture students can come together and really get to know each other and get exposed to different studios and different friends. And um, so that way we're working together. And I wanted to be a part of AIS because I wanted to help collaborate on the new events. And so that way um, new students coming in who get to feel a part. Okay. Yeah. So you, you pretty much want to be a part of area so that you can be able to serve others in a sense. So your view of uh, architecture is more of service than anything else to the friends. Yes. So thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good day. So I guess the big question is, what does AIS mean to me? Uh, that's, that's a good question. I believe that the life experiences do not uh, happen in individual packets, which are disconnected from each other, but they actually work together in a, in a group or in a setting whereby we are all somehow interconnected to each other. And AIS has given me that opportunity to have that family, that relationship with other people from different parts of the country and actually from different parts of the world to learn about architecture in not just a local but rather in a global sense and also to see that architecture is not just about sexy buildings but architecture is more than that it's about community, it's about relationships it's about creating a better future the building that we design, it helped me realize that the building that we design do not just uh, look good or do not just have to follow code but those, those buildings would determine the lives of people and the destinies of people due to the way we design them. So AIS to me has just been a, a tremendous library of information and uh, also a family which has helped me realize that architecture is more than just a drafting desk and a couple of drawings. Architecture is life and uh, we're here to serve.